Okay, so now we're gonna go over the um, features of the superficial GI. Um, we're gonna start with this material here. This is called the greater omentum. Um, it's a little bit torn, but it lays over uh, the structures um, of the abdominal cavity and it provides like a, a covering to hold them all together. So move this out of the way um, so we can look at the structures underneath. We're gonna just quickly move up to this muscle right here. This is the diaphragm, um, which separates the thoracic from the um, abdominal cavity. Um, right here in between the liver and the diaphragm is the falciform ligament. So that's this structure here. Um, this large organ is the liver um, and it has multiple lobes. So we're gonna start on this side. Um, this is the left lateral lobe of the liver. This is the left medial lobe. Right medial lobe, which is quite large all the way around. And the right lateral lobe, which is actually separated in, uh, into two separate parts. Um, it has the anterior portion, which is the back, and the posterior, which is the front. Okay, um, in between, oh, let me actually just touch on the caudate lobe, um, which is the last uh, lobe of the liver. It's this very tiny uh, little one here. In between, um, within the right medial lobe is the gallbladder. It's this um, green greenish structure right here and from the gallbladder you have the cystic duct um, from the left lateral lobe of the liver you have the hepatic duct and they come together to form the common bile duct um, you can't see these structures but the common bile duct feeds into the ampulla of vader um, which uh, then passes through the sphincter of Odi, which is just a muscle that controls um, the secretions of bile to the duodenum. Um, lastly, we have, well not lastly, but we have the spleen out here. And the last structure on your uh, sheet is the lenogastric or gastrosplenic ligament. And it's just the ligamentous tissue that connects the stomach to the spleen. And that's the superficial GI.